than hobbyists. When you think of iconic Tamiya vehicles, a few models spring to mind. For example, the Tamiya lunchbox. It's a classic Tamiya and recognisable instantly. You could argue that the grasshopper and the hornet would also fall into this category, and I could easily list most of the Tamiya range, but I'm not going to, as we all have our favourites. I'm just trying to say that certain models are obviously Tamiya when you see them. One such model is the Tamiya Monster Beetle. This is a classic and looks like a Tamiya while still having that VW bug vibe. My favourite of the Tamiya Beetle range is the Sand Scorcher, but I know if you were to ask the Chief Engineer that same question that he would say the Blitzer Beetle. The problems with the Monster Beetle is that it's not very stable. The chassis has quite a few weak points and other models in the range either look better or handle better. So, what does the Monster Beetle have going for it? Now, before the RC so-and-so mailbags get stuffed with angry letters from Monster Beetle fans out there, I'm not throwing shade at the model. Our Monster Beetle has always had issues, but we think we may have found the ghost in the machine with this model. The chief engineer had used an e-tronics motor and ESC, and well, as a combo, it was pants. These have now been changed to a Tamiya motor and a Hobbywing ESC, and it's running like an oil protester from the job centre. Also, our Monster Beetle was not box art, and the theme was Bob Ross driving it around the countryside, looking for spectacular vistas to paint. But this theme didn't really seem overly popular. Seeing that the insides have been restuffed, this would be an ideal opportunity for a redesign. Let me hand you over to the chief engineer for a minute so he can show you what he's been up to. So as you know, the monster beetle was dedicated to this man, Bob Ross. But it's time for a facelift. So Bob has to go, and the Monster Beetle has some a new paint job and some new decals. So now we have the Monster Beetle Juice. There he is, sitting in the driver's seat, looking happy about his new ride. With this, it's got a new matte black and matte white paint job. Highlighted it with a bit of green in places. We got on the bonnet, the lady who was cut in half, who was in the waiting room. Beetlejuice on the side. And then we got Beetlejuice himself on the top. Got some nice metal spikes at the back. And some nice metal spikes there for the wing mirrors. Looking really good. Beetlejuice now can go on his adventures in the Monster Beetle and enjoy himself a bit. I think he's gonna love that. So we'll take him out and go for a nice ride. Well, it does look different now with its new look. We will, though, have to make sure that we don't say Monster Beetlejuice three times in a row, or it could end up in disaster. Before we take this out to some planned locations, it needs a test run to make sure that all the gremlins have been removed. Soon, you will all find out about our recent trip to Buxton, which we will be dubbing as the wettest place on Earth. Whilst there, we found a pleasant looking pavilion gardens. Before it got busy for the day with wet tourists, we headed to a quiet spot to test this Tamiya Monster Beetle juice and see how it is handling now.
so you don't miss out on further videos and similar nonsense, please like, feel free to comment, definitely subscribe, and press that bell shaped thingy to be woken up at all hours for further content. But for now, that's your lot.